Welcome to your 21st day of your meditation practice. Find yourself in a comfortable position. And let's begin. Sometimes we find ourselves wanting and desiring for something new or for a shift. But sometimes we have to close one door to open another one or clean out or clean up our space so we can make room. Our life is a fertile garden. It's a beautiful garden, but sometimes it can get full of weeds and weeds begin to choke out the roots of those seeds that we are planting. Today, we're going to make sure we clean up our fertile garden, pull up all the weeds so that our seeds can grow. Let's start with the breath. Begin to inhale in through the nose slowly and deeply, exhaling slowly and completely and relax. Inhale into the bottom of the belly and exhaling slowly and completely. Just be present here in the moment. Let go all thought and relax. Relax your shoulders, your arms. Relax your hands. Release your hips. Relax your legs. Relax. Taking deep breaths in, feel the body expand as you inhale, making room. Clearing out all stagnant energy. And relax and release as you exhale. Letting go of all thoughts. Letting go of all tension. Relax. In your stillness, allow your body to fully release. Allow your heart and your mind to fully relax. On that next inhale, inhale deeply. Then hold that breath. Hold it. Hold it and exhale all the way out. Relax. We're going to do that two more times when you're ready. Inhale deeply, deep as you can. Deep, 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 deep. Hold that breath. Hold it. Hold it. And exhale, relax. And one more time. Deep breath in, deep as you can go. Deep, 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 deep. Hold it. Hold it. And slowly release that breath. Slowly release it all the way out. All the way out. And relax. Now, 
I want you to visualize yourself walking into your garden. Your garden is full of beds of plants, flowers, herbs. You see butterflies flying around, bees busy, pollinating and buzzing. See yourself slowly walking through your garden. Walking up to each bed, admiring the growth. Admiring the flowers. Now look closely into the bed. And notice small little weeds springing up around the roots of your plants. These weeds are weeds of sadness, fear, anxiety. And these weeds have roots themselves that plant down into the ground. The roots pull from the soil the same nutrients, the same energy that your plants are supposed to pull. And eventually those roots begin to wrap around the roots of your plants and begin to really take the energy until your plant begins to wither and sometimes die. This is what anxiety, worry, resentment, guilt, shame, lack of confidence. This is what these emotions, feelings, mindsets do in your garden. And so as the good gardener you are, you know it's your job to pull up the weeds. And so see yourself reaching down, pulling up those weeds gently, pulling them from the root, taking your time. Consider any of the things that I named that may be, that you may be dealing with in your life. They may be present in your life. Any sadness, bend down, pull up that weed. Any fear because of past experiences, reach down and grab that weed from the root and pull it out. Any negative emotion or thought, mindset, belief, reach down and uproot that weed. Taking your time and just walk through your garden. The garden of your finances, the garden of your relationships, your visions, your dreams, your health. Reach down and pull up those weeds that stunt in the growth of your garden. We know feelings are messengers. They come to tell us something, show us something, but they cannot stay. If they stay, they take root. And so pull those things up now and affirm as you are pulling those weeds, 
I am grateful for the messages that my feelings, emotions bring. But I receive the lesson and I let go. I receive the message and I let go. Now, some of those weeds are past experiences. Experiences that maybe you wouldn't have chosen in life. But they have come and they've gone. The only way those experiences stay alive in your life is by you keeping them alive. And so reach down and uproot those experiences and toss them to the side. Allow them to compost back into the soil to turn back into pure positive energy. Let go. Allow your new plants, your new growth, your new blossoms to thrive. And they can only thrive if they have room. So reach down, pull them up, and let go. Traveling through your entire garden, pulling up those weeds in regards to your finances, your relationships, your wellness, your visions and dreams. Cleaning up those weeds until you see your beautiful fertile garden again. Thriving, beautiful, and well. See yourself stepping back, marveling at your garden. Allow yourself to take a seat wherever you find yourself sitting and just give thanks. Give thanks in advance for the growth that your garden will experience being that you have let go. You've cleaned up, cleaned up the weeds and made room. Give thanks for the fertile nature of your garden. Yes, there are things you do to keep it fertile, but it is fertile all by itself, by the grace of the Almighty. This garden is your life, fertile with dormant potentiality, ready to grow ready to expand in abundance. Accept that as your reality and let nothing take root that does not belong in your garden. And if anything should be planted and begin to take root, let go. Let go quickly before those weeds spread. Take this affirmation with you throughout the day. I make room in my fertile garden for abundant growth. I make room 
in my fertile garden for abundant growth. I make room in my fertile garden for abundant growth. Thank you for joining me again for your practice. Namaste.